absolutely could not miss this day. I want to hear what Boris Johnson has to say to families like mine. My name's Charlie Williams. My father is Vernut Williams, known as Rex. My father came over here, part of the Windrush generation, came in the 50s, worked hard all his life here. Charlie's father died in a care home during the pandemic. He blames the government. He blames Boris Johnson. Is it the only United? They queued early in the cold. Most had travelled far to be here. The bereaved, their grief laid out for all to see. Well, this is one of the big moments that Charlie and the other families have been waiting for, a chance to hear from Boris Johnson, questioned before this inquiry about his government's controversial handling of the pandemic. With the inquiry underway, Mr Johnson said he was sorry for their pain and loss. Mistakes may have been made, he said. The dark days of the pandemic condensed to just a few hours of evidence. I just wanted your initial reaction um, to it. Jesus, where'd you start? <laughs> you know, we, we can all make mistakes, but this is a man that goes beyond all of that. This is why my father's not with us today. Through these government um, decisions, you know, despicable decisions. Do you have any sympathy for the idea that the government was in the thick of a crisis? and that mistakes were made. I could understand we was in an absolute crisis, that, you know, the country was on its knees. And they made that decision to let COVID positive patients in our care homes. Anyone with an ounce of common sense would know what the result was going to be. So it's not a mistake, it was more of a sacrifice. <laughs> I think he, he's going to jump straight in and, and shoot off in, in the exact same way that he arrived there. What do you think? Complete coward. Complete coward. For Charlie, this was about seeing Boris Johnson held to account, but the grief still runs deep. Nick Martin, Sky News.